Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we have some new custom courtiers. We have Melinda Mavery and her three children. Melinda was a kind of a mover in the uh, Lyseni court. She was a person who got things done. She was kind of behind the scenes, kind of pulling the strings kind of person. But she decided she wants to move on. She wants to expand what she's doing. She wants to influence the world. So she has come here to Harlow Hill as there's a lot of activity going on. Like there's a lot of a lot of interesting and important people seem to pass through Harlow Hill. Like there's been kings of Westeros, there's been Targaryens, and there's been dragons, and she is you know, she knows this is the place where she needs to be to make things happen. So that's why she's here. And uh yeah, we need to work out what we're doing with Urus. Now, Urus is kinda content just Diligent, charitable, crippled. Oh, also, somebody uh, was talking about prisoners that we had. I believe we didn't. We don't have any. I think I let them all go before we did anything else. So that's why there were no prisoners. Like as I believe I let them go last episode or the episode before. So apologies to that person for saying that I'd do something about them because I already did. Um. Anyway, so what were we gonna do? What was Eris's plan? Well, uh, how many men do we, like, do we actually have all our men? We have 2,000 men somewhere. We're, we're, oh, they're on the boats. All right, so we have some people bringing back some more money. That's actually going to give a lot of prestige to us as well at the start, which is quite nice. We're going to be able to get an observatory, which will, uh, I mean, we could do that. That kind of starts the event line for, what's it called? For scholarship focus, which I guess is what she, he's doing, because that's what we're already on. I mean, that's all right. We can do scholarship focus. We'll build the observatory. Uh, you've begun construction of an observatory. It will take some time to complete all the necessary mid uh, to collect all the necessary materials and to get everything in order. I can't wait. Fantastic. So we'll get. I think we'll just do some raiding while we wait for men to come back. We did sort our council last time, didn't we? Yes, yes. I seem to remember doing that. So it's pretty much just a matter of waiting, letting ourselves build up. Are there any laws and things we want to change? I just want to kind of see if there's anything we want to actually do. Crown laws apply to us. Um, we can change church laws, but that doesn't really matter. Or we could change these laws as well. Because uh, we're lowering the levy for more tax on burgers. Do we have any, like, city uh, vassals? Uh, oh, we probably want to go to military for this. Um, we don't have any city vassals, do we? Castle, 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 lordship. Yes, we don't have any city vassals, so that doesn't really matter to us anyway. And for Noble, we're pretty much entirely on Levy. Okay. Yeah, I just haven't really looked at this before and want to check it out. Council power... Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll just let time move on. Today, my half-brother Vicken asked me for a fief of his own to govern. Okay. Well, um... I suppose we could give him that. We would have to give him the Lordship of Stone Tree because that's the only one we have. Although we also control all of our, like, we control what we can hold right now. Like, we uh, are within our domain. We are charitable, though. Yeah. And we're content with what we've got. So I guess we would give him it. Okay. Um, Stone Tree. Stone Tree is the one I want to give away. You can have Stone Tree. And that gets us prestige. Although, if I just say that I'll give him one, that means that we get a pinion. I'll just say I'll give him one, and then I will give him it. That way we get the opinion for giving it to him, because I don't know if we get that already, and we get the opinion for promising him one. And we don't really need 25 prestige, basically. Uh, we'll grant him Lordship of Stone Tree. There you go. He's probably very happy. With us, yeah, we gave him a lordship. Uh, he has a title claimant, which he doesn't quite like. And we have this tyrannical stain, but so does he, so. Um, yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, do we have any other, like, family members we need to deal with? No, we have um, this guy. Oh, yeah, someone was also saying Ironfoot. They wanted me to make him a noble. He's already a noble. See? Uh, house Ironfoot is a noble house that goes way back. So, that's fine. Um, anything else? Sister, you're betrothed, and other sister, you're three. That's fine. Don't really need to worry about anything. Uh, we have our own children. I actually just forgot to look at there. Um, who we could potentially, uh, marry off, but we've got a couple of years left in that, so we'll just kind of chill out. 
Oh, some of your- I, for saying there, I was thinking that he was unhappy. Some of your kin are unhappy that you granted Lordship of Stone Tree to Lord Vic and Erpentale as they're expected to be granted a title themselves. Hagen Greensmith, our uncle, wanted the title. Really? I don't... Uh, no. We're not giving you the title. You already had Harrenhal, and you uh, lost it. That's a lot of money and prestige we just got, and I think it's time to go out again. Where are we in a, I think we'll uh, head back around and get some more uh, money from somewhere. Also, people are saying that we should probably attack um, Pike because they murdered our something, like our half-sister here. Which is fair. We should probably try after Pike, but I think we have a truce, don't we? I would have to disband our men. We also don't have valid cast his belly because we have no claims on Pike, so... You know, uh, we'll work on it, but right now we can't really do very much. Uh, so who's at war? Reach, are you at war? Also, are we still independent-ish? Yeah, we're still independent. Uh, Dorne is not at war. Stormlands is not at war. Dragonstone is at war with us over Great Wick. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have that much gold, though. Oh, Driftmark is neutral. Uh, we could head over to Driftmark. They also have no levy. Yeah, we'll head over to Driftmark. That looks fantastic. It, it, that looks like a really easy amount of gold we can get there. Uh, what have we got? Weak claims. Oh, on the High Lodge of a Pike. There we go. That was what I was talking about earlier. So we do have something on Pike for Roderick Hardhand. If we wanted to press his claim. Now he's zealously for the Drowned God. And we are all... Alright, oh I was thinking of the other campaign. Never mind. Never mind. Because <laughs> uh, in the other campaign, uh, we're not... On the other campaign, we are Rylor. So we got one on Pike, we got one on Vulture's Roof for Alf if we wanted to. And then a couple around the place for some other people. Okay, nothing we really want to press now though, but there are options. Uh, Lord Herbert of Roseby has usurped the title High Lord of Roseby from Lord Cormorant the Downcast. So the Gaunts have taken Roseby from the Rosebys. Okay, that's fine. My liege, uh, my mission to Lannisport has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Meldred of Lannisport, I have managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful rule you really are, and he sent his regards. Your humble Justicar, Master Urus. Perfect. Um, how much does he like us now? I probably should have clicked on him when we were there, but that's fine. He is really, really not very happy. Oh, he concerned, uh, con right, he was forced into joining faction. Oh, by us. Oh, right. Yeah, I see. Coerced went into joining the factions that we forced him to do, even though it was like that our character forced him to do um, previously. I see. Yeah, that's not great that he hates us, like just with a passion, but at least we we're still able to use his men. Uh, Princess Tien the Unchaste has formed an alliance with King Mathis of the Reach. Now, um, what's the connection here? They're allied because of Colin and Princess Maria. Okay. So that's actually quite an alliance th with those three there. Hey, that's, um, that's very strong if they want it to be. But I suspect they're just going to use it to kind of uh, stay at peace. At age 18, Jonah Lannister died of gonorrhea. Um, he was the son of Iron King Lancel. And that means that his heir is Prince Roland. Right. We can righteously imprison Wolga. What's Wolga been trying to do? Replace Giles as Lord Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. Really? Really? That just does not seem very bright. Alright, so let's go land on this uh, island here. And see what we can get. Alright. Yeah, we have enough men to siege this. This is actually just a possible siege. I like it. We, I think we'll siege it all the way down. Oh wow, that went quickly. Oh, it's because we have the dragons, yeah, and the dragon events can fire. I think that's what it is anyway. We should really try sieging somewhere that has a lot of stuff hidden behind fortifications and see if that's actually true. Uh, did we get any prisoners there? No. Oh. At age 47, Malia died under suspicious circumstances. She was previously married to Marteris of Inchfield. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Now, I just want to see here, Does, is this going to jump down a lot, suddenly? Uh, son was born to Wallace Weber and Brella named Medwick. Okay. 
Lord Luke of the Trine has usurped the High Lordship of the Trine from Lord Alice the Exile. So Vriprins have taken oh, land from Vriprins. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that dropped down a significant amount there. Like, that dropped about half in terms of the siege. So, um, I think it must be the dragons. Anyway. Your observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation that you prepare to make your final observations. I wonder what strange things I will discover. So we get plus one learning and studying the, uh, the stars. A raven has arrived from the citadel. We should prepare as winter is coming. All right. Lord Cal the Scarred has swept the Lordship of Crow's Barons from Unella Harding. So the Hardings of Lost Land to the Wayne Woods. I think the Wayne Woods took a High Lordship last time. I could be wrong though. Lord Uther of the Tickler has usurped the High Lordship of Gulltown from Lord Callan of Gulltown. There's more Wayne Woods getting land. They have a lot of land between all of their people. Okay. Good for them. Yeah, there's so much money here as well though. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, we've won... Oh, that's nice. There's somebody else won the Siege of uh, Seaguard Castle. Wait, is our vassal at war? Or is he, like, doing... Uh, oh, he's doing sieges. Like, uh, raids. That's alright. Although it looks like he's raiding the Westlands, which may not be the best plan. Favors being called in by people. Lord Reaver Urus, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a law changing the rules of succession in the Iron Islands. Succession shall hereby be determined by absolute, agnatic inheritance, with only males heirs allowed to inherit. Signed, Lord Paramount Manfred of the Iron Isles. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really affect us at all. I mean, it does mean that Vicon is our heir, but I think he was anyway. So that's fine. Oh, that's Meldred of Lannisport has now come back with lots and lots of gold and prestige for themselves. Good. Glad that we're both uh, doing well in this uh, period of raiding. Right, we've taken that one. We've got a lot of stuff. We're going to assault this one because it's only got 93 defenders. That just instantly gets us uh, all the money that was available. No prisoners still? No prisoners. This one's going to go fairly quickly. We could possibly assault it, but we don't really need to. And it will just uh, ruin our men. Oh, never mind. It looks like the dragon got at it. My dear son, may you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot where Cersei of Nath seeks to investigate uh, Lord Vicon of Serpentail's uh, legitimacy. Uh, what would we do about this? Now, we're just... Um, diligent. I think we would imprison him. Like, I don't think that we would let him say that about our half-brother. Yeah. I think we would definitely uh, we'd put a stop to that right now. So, um, where's in prison? Um, also, oh, never mind. I was thinking, is he in our, even in our court? But he is. Yeah, he's fled to the court of Prince Memsabar. Um, in Nath, surprisingly. Okay. Siege of Hull is done. Okay. The pillaging and looting undertaking your name has earned your reputation as a fearsome ironborn raider. All along the coast of Westeros, mothers talking and the children for the night warn that unless they behave, the terrible Urus... Scourge of the Seas will come ashore with his undead warriors and eat them. I like the sound of that. So we got Reaver even while being crippled. Fantastic. Gives us martial, same trait opinion, same faith opinion, prestige. Also, crippled, doesn't that mean we're likely to die like any second now? Oh, it's only negative 50. It, it's only uh, 0 0.5. Oh, okay. That's not too bad in terms of health. And then we've got the last one on Driftmark to get and then uh, we can leave. Yeah, and uh, go raid somewhere else. Oh, I thought they had the game on pause there. <gasps> Mali, since I arrived in Harlow Hill, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troop station there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lord Meldred of Lannisport. Fantastic! That gives us uh, a little bit more uh, men regeneration over there. Which is what we're after. I was thinking, we, for a there, I was wondering why we had lost uh, some of our men in our domain, but it's because uh, we had stone trees stuff added in last time I looked. And then we gave away stone tree. There we go. We're about to get this one. King Arson of Westeros has inherited the lordship of North Crackclaw and other titles from Lady Leia of North Crackclaw. So that's the bogs died and then the Sigwarts took over. Okay. My liege, I'm pleased to report your errant subject, Camela Targaryen, is converted to the drowned uh, god Faith. Praise the drowned god. Your humble drowned man, Clayton Goldwine. 
Oh, okay, good. We're starting to actually convert people, though she does have grayscale, so it might not be around very long. Oh no, it didn't it doesn't have any negative health effects. Oh, okay. She also looked depressed. I think that was the other one she had, so that's not good for her. Age 55. Commander Justin of Sentinel Stan died under suspicious circumstances. Justin Benson. Um wait, is that the um original courtier? From that line? No, the original one's uh, uh, like uh, the grandfather of Justin Benson. Okay. Well, that's fine. But I was just like, oh, I recognize that name. Uh, you've spent many nights looking uh, at the stars in your observatory. It's truly fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. How do the stars move, or is there something strange out there? I'm going to go for, is there something strange out there? I think that might lead to interesting stuff. A daughter was born to Ares Targaryen and Rala the Dragon Tamer named Vizera. Vizera. Uh, she was quick. Oh, okay. Good. And we have almost got this one. There we go. We've won the siege. We've got some more stuff. And we can now get back on our boats. Um, did we... We didn't get a single prisoner there? No. We just got lots and lots and lots of money. Now, we want to go to somewhere with high, uh, like, with a really high amount of, what's it called, fort level, but a lot of money behind the fort level. Or maybe we just want to go to Pentos again. Wait, are you at war, Pentos? You're not at war. Okay, Bravos. Uh, you don't have money. Hmm. Okay. How about you, Mir? Uh, you, you've already been looted, but we could go and loot you again. Tyrosh, you've already been looted. We've kind of already been... Around here, Lice isn't at war. Lantes uh, isn't at war and uh, doesn't really have anywhere easy to go to. Just kind of spotting whether we have anywhere that looks obvious. Like, oh, this is where we want to go raid. All seems a bit like poor along here. Karth, very poor. Oh, that 108 I saw in one of these. Which one was it? Oh, Pharos. You have a lot of men. Okay. Um, oh, 152. You have 20,000 men on that province. Yeah, okay. Okay, the Yins are at war. Uh, doesn't appear to be any great amount of money over there either. How about back over here? Oh, Lorath could be alright. Yeah, we'll go up to Lorath. It's an island as well, which, uh, wait, where are we? There we are. Right up here, it's an island, which means that we can kind of, uh, like, sit on it, and then they can't really do anything to us. It's quite nice. And then they've got another island right next door, which also has a lot of stuff on it. Right. Like, they can't bring their full force to the island very easily. There are always things that need to be done when it comes to expanding and improving the castle. With proper planning and diligent work, I can make sure the work becomes more efficient. We can reduce the cost, or we can reduce the build time. Let's reduce the cost. Um, also, um, I want to go look at our castle, I suppose, and see what we got in it. It, was, uh, it got pretty destroyed at one point, but we can maybe try and bring it back. I think maybe we're saving for the small Iron Isles castle to bring it back, but... Um, I mean, we could start just rebuilding everything that was there at one point. That is an option. Uh, maybe going back for the taxes from the private farms. Um, yeah... Or maybe we just try and save up for the Ironborn Shipyard. Which would definitely allow us to get a lot more loot each time we go out. Which would be nice. And basically what I'm testing here is whether our dragons will uh, lower their levy enough that we can just siege this entirely down. I want to see what the dragons do. So we crashed, but we lost zero number of days. So that's pretty good. Yeah, as I was saying, I just want to see what the dragons do on this province. I want to see if they can lower the number of men defending enough that we can actually siege it. Lord Paramount Andros of the Vale has declared the Veilman Iron Islander de Jure War over Sunrise Keep on Lord on Iron King Lancel of the Iron Isles. Um, I thought you were still underneath the Iron Isles. Did you become independent? He's a rebel leader, so I guess he did. Um, yeah, I don't remember that happening. That must have happened last episode. Or maybe a few, maybe a few episodes ago. Okay, interesting. Lord Meldred of Lansport has provided me proof that Giles has been viciously slandering me. How shall I use this information? Um, 
Okay. Giles Iron Fist being my Lord Steward. Um, what well, we're diligent, just... I guess we would have to announce, expose and denounce him publicly, giving me a reason to arrest him. I mean, unless we have any specific reason, like, we only kind of like him, right? I, oh, we don't even like him that much. I mean, we actually much more like our, um, our kinsman. Hmm. I guess we're going to give me a reason to arrest him. And then I guess we're going to arrest him. Um. Yeah. Oh, he has managed to avoid my guardsmen and fled to the corp of Captain Garen. Of the Second Sons. Hmm. I'm Karen Fear. A new Lord Steward. And some new chi and uh, some children need some stuff. Okay. My Lord Steward. Uh, do we have any friends? We don't have any friends. Yes. And now Giles Iron Fist is now my rival. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Need some people in here. So we need both uh, diplomacy and we need stewardship. So I guess Ravos is alright. We kind of like him. He's ambitious. Ravos would do. Definitely. And then we'll get him to go and uh, it's oversee the province. Maybe we even want to just try and get him to improve the holding at this point. Just a uh, 4% chance of making our holding better. Might just be an alright idea. Oh, we can't do it. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, yeah, I think we I worked out last time we needed money to do that anyway. How's our siege going? It's not going very well. I'm going to give it a month. Oh, there we go. See? They lost a whole ton of men on the month. Yeah, so we're actually going to be able to siege this, which is nice. because It means that we can siege things that nobody else can get to. Prince Hakar of Wolando died bedridden and infirm. Hakar uh, Chozaks, who was a uh, custom courtier. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.